I belong to several veteran support groups, um, American Legion Auxiliary, USA River Rats, and National Veteran Homeless Support, or better known as NVHS. NVHS is the organization that we're working with now that's really um, taken off in the past, I guess, year and a half where we're going out into the homeless, to finding the homeless camps. Are you getting support from the local community, from the state, from the city? from? Not much, no. We have to fight for every little bit of it. Why? Because it's not a recognized problem. NBHS, coming in. Hello. Come to see you. Hi, guys. How are you? All right. Hey, watch out for my hose. Watch out for your hose? Watch out oh, for the, the hole. Okay. <laughs> I thought you said hose. You should have told me that before I stepped in it, Steve. If I would know, you guys come out. A couple of weeks ago, we had one of our teams go out into the woods and they came up upon a homeless veteran camp. They hadn't eaten in three days. And the government just does not help. Instead, they give them tickets, they put them in jail, um, they tag them with different drug addict, alcoholic, and they just clump them into one one bunch, and they don't want to deal with it. Here's the hat treat. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and this is the, this is the, it comes from the uh, good guys and women at the uh, uh, Bavard Vietnam Veterans and all veterans of Bavard County. I got this yesterday when they, I told them of Patrick, the Vietnam Army. And he wanted that because I had one and everything else. So we got it. He went all over Bavard County, found his T-shirt. Don't insult me. Get this. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> when you have these many veterans that live in a homeless thing, that constantly have problems with the VA and the bureaucracy through paperwork and everything else like that, although there's some very good people in the VA that are doing that, then there, there's a problem, and I think it's just the demand is way beyond their capability to respond. And they don't have the manpower or the budget to respond properly. And I think the nation needs to know this, because it's an absolute shame. It's a disgrace for the men and women who have done this for the country. How do you deal with mosquitoes? Oh, uh, well, with that <laughs> stuff you gave us. <laughs> this is their kind of like their hurricane supplies, but they, in case they can't get out for a couple of days, they do have something that they can eat. Uh, we bring in the, the uh, this is one of the things we brought in, and this beef and stuff like that they come in with, and then they kind of have pieces of bicycles here, and they have to, their bike breaks, they'll put together a new bicycle. They're very ingenious. And there's toilet paper and stuff back there that we give them. And they have their water bottles over there. You can see it. And then he has them. That's where he sleeps on the sleeping bag there. They're ingenious. They do everything. How do they keep the, tent, the ground dry when you have these heavy rains? Well, they actually have a ground cloth under Why are you homeless? Why am I homeless? Well, it, it starts out not little at a time. I mean, yeah, it does start out a little at a time. Lose your house, lose your car, lose your job. Then what you gonna do? Hey, you know, I, I don't, I don't mind. I, I don't want anybody to be homeless. Sure enough, I don't. I don't want nobody to be homeless. And I know there's people out there that will show sure enough. They, they lose their house. They lose their job, they lose their car, you know what they do? Put a gun to their head and shoot it. Mm -hmm. You know? You can't do that. You gotta damn keep fighting. You gotta keep fighting, keep right. faith. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, look here. You know, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. I'm a union iron worker. You wanna see my damn stuff? <laughs> I'm a union iron worker. I'll make $40 an hour up in Boston. I'll make a damn 23 out there here at 808 mm -hmm. in Orlando. I ain't lying to you, not one mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. But once you lose your job, okay, you lose your job, you lose your car. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? And Patrick is a carpenter? He, yeah, he a veteran. And a veteran. He a veteran, living out here in the woods. He's got a P-51 can <clears throat> open, a military issue. That's the new issue. <laughs> Well, I'm tired of it, man. So I'm tired of it. 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 I'm
Are you thirsty? No. And it's a bad thing because they put you at the back of the list when you got all these crackheads in there getting the jobs before you do. You know what I mean? It's favoritism. And I hate to say that, but a lot of people it's that you interview that... Uh, I've yeah. seen it too many times. I've gone in. If I'm there early in the morning, if I'm the second one on the list, I should be the second one out. And all of a sudden you yeah. see people coming yeah. in at 8 o'clock and they're going out. It's like, wait a minute. In the morning it's, that's oh, worthless. you get a job yeah. while you're That's not worth going down there for. Yeah, so Try to get out. Yeah. One of the things that creates uh, veterans gathering in the woods is if they're with another veteran, they don't really have to address the issues of what their combat give them. If they mix with the non-veterans, the non-veteran wouldn't understand uh, how an individual that went into this country, a very prideful citizen, gets coming home and not respected and stripped of all of his rights. So they don't have to answer some of the community issues if they stay together. I have five search and rescue teams that go out daily and we find them in the woods. We give them an avenue of VA. We give them an avenue of housing. We give them an avenue of food. Uh, so on a, on a, last year, it was 1,900 different veterans that we actually supported. Uh, the the biggest, biggest problem that we have in Florida, in our area, is VA law says that funding goes to our veterans to the state where they entered service, not where the veteran lives. So we're short funded in Florida because most of the veterans didn't enter the service from Florida. They entered it from the northern states. So that cuts our funding. We are also a transit state, vacation state, so the veterans who come into our state uh, during the winter, for, for they have two residencies, uh, they eat up our VA budget, they eat up our prescription funded budget, so we're short funded before we start to get our veterans into the proper VA treatment, VA mental health issues, VA uh, funding is very short for Florida where the veterans live.